Hey guys, Game Hunter here, and today, uh, at the request of a couple people, I think, I unfortunately don't remember them by name, but uh, I've heard this game pop up in a, in a few places, and also some personal requests of this game called Caves of Kud. Or Kud. Kud. I. As usual, I always have a little bit of trouble saying things, so. <laughs> yes! This is Caves of Q-U-D. Uh, I guess it's technically a beta, but I guess it's been a beta for a couple years, so it should be well developed enough that we're not worrying too much about buggy, buggy, bugginess. So, if you notice, it's very console looking, and in fact, there's a console mode. I just picked this one because this is, I don't know, more resizable for my screen. So, and you know, I get the nice 1287 20 resolution. I know you guys love to see nice and nice and hearty window sizes that totally fit your monitors, especially for games like these. So I'm just going to leave all these. It looks like none of them I would understand very well at this point. So yeah, I think I'll just leave it at that. In any case, yeah, lots of debug things. Let's just start a new game, start up some music. Uh, not, not exactly music, but yeah, music. Music is actually a term for elevator, um, elevator music, like stuff that's been uh, just kind of toned down to what it used to be. So I have no idea what this is, but let's go, uh, let's go True Man, because mutated human. Yeah, let's do True Man. Oh, wait, can I? You know what? Part A is mutated. Let's just do mutated. So I have a lot of points to stick from. So we got strength determines penetrate opponent's armor. Carry capacity, as always. Carry capacity is super duper important. So willpower. Let's see. Frequency at which you may use mental mutations. Well, that seems obviously important for for a mutant. So number of skill points and ability to examine artifacts. Artifacts. Uh, Number of hit points, oh that's super duper important. Agility, accuracy, ego, potency of your mental mutation. I mean, maybe I should just do this. Just be balanced so that I don't have any losses for anything. And then we get to decide what I really want specifically. So... Oh, it looks like 18 is the max before things start getting extra duper. Yeah. And that's when I get my plus my plus one. So I gotta figure out what I want. Let's go with carrying capacity, agility, HP, and uh, hit regen, because I'm not really sure I'm gonna know how to use um, anything else. So now we get to press space to select mutations. Oh boy, mutations. Um, wait, what? You manifest only physical or mental, you manifest one mutation of your choice for three randomly selected ones, though you do not manifest it immediately. Um, so wait, can I just pick this? Okay, so why would I want this? Like, I guess I can pick a bunch of those. But what's the point of being one or the other? Does it boost? According, maybe certain ones can only be picked if, uh... Oh, look, you can actually pick defects. That's, that's interesting. And only a fifth in daylight. Man, albinos really have it tough, don't they? With, with being, not being able to deal with sunlight very much. I'm gonna have to look at this a little myself, so I'll get back to you guys in just a sec. Alright, so because I'm a boring person, <laughs> I'm picking stuff that's basically only boosts as a means to just make sure that I'm not screwing myself over by doing one thing instead of another. So we got multiple legs for increased carry capacity and move speed, see in the dark, that's pretty easy. Increased hit point regen and severed limbs can regrow, and then we got some heat cold resistance. Although I do want to note some of the more interesting ones. Um, oh, where were some of them? I mean these are all... I didn't look too much at these because they all are very complicated for the most part and most of them were kind of like super abilities of doing things but um, 
And I wanted to just keep with being able to attack stuff. But some of this stuff, like spontaneous combustion, there's a small chance each round that you spontaneously erupt into flames. And also mental defects like, uh, each time you work on a new location, there's a small chance that a parallel version of yourself has tracked you down and attempts to destroy you. That's a, that's a mental defect right there, yes. So then there's these, I mean, like, I guess this means I can't pick that, but anyway. I don't know what the point of this is, but anyway, well, pff, I keep saying anyway. Let's just get right to it, right guys? Yes. Let's continue. So this gives me a class, I suppose. Um, I should probably pick somebody who is strength-based, sort of. Um, so, Or just somebody who is more on attacking and less on doing other stuff. Ooh, Warden. That sounds like fun. Sounds like a lot of fun. Warden or Marauder? Let's do Marauder. Are you kidding me? Marauder. Marauder sounds amazing. I could do random selection, but I've kind of done my physical stuff towards being powerful in physical powers. So, obviously I need to call myself Khan. Because that's amazing. So now we get to have the loading screen, which is kind of a nice little loading screen here. Whoa! Uh, blinky lights! <laughs> this is giving me huge Dwarf Fortress vibes, by the way, just in the way it looks. Maybe that's on purpose. Is there... I should probably take a quick look at... Um, huh. I was kind of hoping for... Okay, well at least this tells me I should just go this way. Is it look button? Yay, look button. Okay, so Mamet, years of desert, but he commands your ear with his voice like few other men. So, perfect, impossible, and friendly. I guess perfect health, um, easy to kill, maybe, as an impossible kill, but friendly to you, so. Really, I was hoping for a, uh, what do you call it, the, the thing where you look at what your buttons can do, like, what if I just start pushing buttons around? What will happen? Can I chat to you? Okay, good. It's C for chat. I was worried that pressing into him would cause a problem. I am in search of... Yeah, screw what will it... Well, I don't know. I, I guess that's probably the city, so... I was thinking it was like the god, he was the great hands of Java, but some critters were eating our water vine, or are, apparently they are right now. Claims he saw one slinking around a vine patch. Ugly little thing, he says. Pale white, eight legs, and ear splitting whine. I noticed a bit of red dirt, the same we find in the soil of a nearby cave called Red Rock. Travel there and kill as many of these little critters as you can. Elder... Iru Dad will reward your efforts. Sure, why not? Let's let's have fun with that. So this is a quest-based game. What are you? Just a zealot. Oh, oh, here we go. Key mapping. All right. So this tells me, this tells me how stuff works. Um. Oh, combat is going to be control. Okie dokie. I I can deal with that. And you can move up and down as opposed to. Is that just different from going up and down the stairs? That's okay, I can get used to subtract and add. Although one requires... I think one's gonna require shift and the other one isn't, but whatever. And I guess you can just plain walk, as opposed to run? Hmm, mm, mm, mm. Okay, fire missile weapon, throw thrown weapon, because they have to be different. Selecting your targets, reloading missile weapons... I assume these are all capitals? No, okay, it's... That's case insensitive, I suppose. So we got search, we got get, we got wait. Um, rest is om tilled. I think that's the button next to the tab. Anything else important? Inventory equipment, skills and powers, character sheet is going to be X, quests is K, message history, shift M. Okay, so wait, what was I? Um, man, there's no easy way to go through this list, I guess. Talk is C, yeah. And use mut mutations and use abilities, that's, that's important. I guess I don't have any mutations to use, so. Whatever. Let me just talk to you, I guess. Piety compels you to deliver the, your sacred relics to the 
priests of the six days still cleanse them of your filth okay staying away from you good sir um oh, okay so it is space for that you're you're the warden ain't they wishing to heart keep pumping move long if they do great philosophical uh, speeches were spoken by that warden right right there okay so I am going to a new area apparently you may go to the world map by pressing subtract so that's up uh, from any surface zone you can return to the region surface by pressing plus or oh you can use okay you can use stairs so I guess I'm just gonna go this way though I mean I could I could go a different way but we can build these zones just to see what's going on fighting things like a snapjaw scavenger and a salamander and uh, giant dragonflies which aren't hostile I guess that's indicated by um, their up arrow I don't know I'm gonna smack you okay so let's see what we got hits times one for three damage so I already took some damage there Missed me. What did I deal, though? Where's my damage that I attempted to deal? Oh, crap! I need to do control. That's right. That's the that's the difference there. I think. I'm pretty sure I had to do that. Uh, that's important, of course. Salamander hits. I hit with my Brown's Battle Axe. Hit again. I'm kind of getting hurt, though. A lot. Okay, which one of you is hurt? Yeah, you're, you're hurt. Good, excellent, you died. All right, Mr. Bloody, bloody salamanders. I gained some HP, that's pretty awesome. So, ooh, crap, Um, still stuff going on. I need to be aware that stuff is going on. Okay, good. Um, so how do I, I guess this is just showing me up here what, what I can pick up, perhaps. Um, so is this now here? Or do I have to do get? Okay, so now I can like snap draw corpses and So what do I have currently in equipment? Let's see. Bronze battle axe. <clears throat> Six accuracy probably and one D three damage. It's gonna just take a guess at that. Oh, I wonder, uh feet feet two. <clears throat> because I have two sets of two sets of legs. <laughs> yeah. And there's nothing to wear, I guess, leg-wise, and apparently you can just wear body for all you want. So let's go ahead and take the club. Just get it. Just get it. And water moccasins. Why not? Let's go ahead and, and equip ourselves on the feet. At least one of our feet, right? Uh, so right hand. What about the left hand? Oh, it's got a lit torch. That's, I bet that's important. I bet that's going to be useful. So what else we got here? Bronze longsword. That sounds good. Let's get that and get the buckler. Not care about the corpses. I'm actually slightly worried about uh, how corpses work in this game. Two-headed boar. And you're tough. I'm worried about you. So we got an attack charge. Does Is there a way to take a look at how this works? Oh, butcher corpses. Toggle to enable or disable the butchering of corpses. Is that just while I'm sitting on them? Is that how that works? Okay, hello, Mr. Boar. You deal damage. Oh, man, you deal damage. Might want to fight the salamander in the meantime. Okay, good. So it died. Oh, critical smackdown. And you're still fine, though. That's not good for me. Probably not. So, perhaps. Oh, um. Why is there an asterisk here for my right hand? And this is probably not the best time to be doing that, so we're gonna try to kill. Let's hope it works. Oh crap, tinkering skill? I don't have that. You're injured though. Okay, how hurt are you? You do not get hurt. Yeah, you got hurt there. I think I can actually do a little bit of FNAF going to get some HP back here. Okay, let's try again. So how hurt are you? 
Did you take hit? Yeah, you one damage. Yeesh, kebab. As long as that other thing doesn't find me, I can kind of dance around. Okay, I think it found me. Gosh darn it. Ooh, no, I don't wanna I don't wanna end up in checkmate here, so. Let's try again. Oh boy. Man. You're still injured. I'm wounded. The big difference there. And especially worrying about you, um, Snapjaw Scavenger. Receives plus one for each other swarmer beyond the first two is adjacent. So they're good at, at kind of being a, a group mob. Right. Okay. Well, in any case, I'm still being alive. And I'm just dancing around these dudes. Okay, I got a lot of HP back, so let's try to finish you off this time. Whew, okay, once more, come on. Are you taking damage? Come on, take damage, yo. Oh man, I keep missing. And you don't seem to be taking enough damage for me right now, so I'm just gonna have to keep doing this. It's a shame, but it's just what I gotta do. So, yes, we're just gonna play Ring Around the Dragonfly until one of our senses ow okay it didn't actually hit so that's good good more damage you don't penetrate its armor well that explains things I guess maybe I can get a little far away from you huh just a little bit oh man stupid dragonfly ran off <laughs> okay so I wanted to try to equip this it seems to have a little bit less accuracy but the but the possibility of more damage? I think that's what I want. I don't know. I don't know. Let's go ahead and remove this and switch to uh, the shield. There we go. So in the meantime, yeah, it, it kind of tried to attack me. But whatever, I have a shield now. So that's good. That's very good, I hope. Still injured. But at least you're not penetrating my armor anymore because I'm wearing Mr. Shield. So I'm dealing my damage this time. And you finally got wounded. Finally. Badly wounded. Okay, but we're, uh, we're fighting a little bit on, on the cozy side here, so I need to be more careful. So. Still badly wounded. Let's try to ring around the, the dragonfly again. Because I bet you're regenerating too, but... If I can regenerate faster than you... Okay, who? For a second there I thought it was just gonna kill me, but... Looks like that worked out with a critical smackdown. Critical smackdown. Butchered that raw boar meat to get the raw boar meat. Even though I'm quenched and sated, I should be okay otherwise. So if I'm not mistaken, this is that very cave... Ouch, this way is blocked by shale. If I'm not mistaken, this is supposed to be the way I get... This is like the cave to the north. If we check our... Yeah. Journey north to Red Rock. Well, this kind of looks reddish. It's more brown, I guess. But it is somewhat red. So is there any way to get around here? Do I need to... Do I need to choke a boar in order to get, get around here? Uh... What was the run button? Is it just like comma? Probably doesn't want me with all this animation going around. There's probably no sense of that. Okay, well let's try west then. A little bit west, see if uh, if that matters at all. So I gained stats, right? How do I experience? Here we go. So I got to level two. I got mutation point. I got skill points. M to buy a random mutation for M for mutation points, I guess. How do I use skill points? Seven skills. Raise selected statistic or mutation. Not enough. Yeah, AP, right. That's important. But what about skill points? Where do those go? Well, good question, isn't it? Skills and powers. Um, you begin with several powers determined by your caster calling. You may purchase others by spending skill points, which you earn when you gain a level. Right, right. 
To purchase it, you must first purchase a skill with which that power is associated. You may, must meet any attribute or power requirements. Uh, let's see, manage abilities menu. Okay, so here I am. Press combination you would like... Oh. Kind of key combination. Like, shift one? Here we go. Shift D1. Amazing. Something like sprint. Shift D2, I guess. Um, so, can I just, like, bind to stop? Yeah, D3. Why not? It's, so. Okay, cool. Very cool. But I still don't know how to do, like, getting new ability yeah letters use ability right so whatever I guess I'll just kill you guys oh crap oh I do hit him okay so that is still auto hit that's not something I actually have to worry about then all right then good all the better for me who critical smackdown on myself yeah I'm actually bleeding a bit aren't I oof that one hurt Good thing I am a regenerative son of a gun. Just gonna wait. For, ooh, I'm thirsty. And, oh wait, now I'm questioning. Take a sip of fresh water. Just where am I sitting? That that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, you don't really feel like coming at me, do you? So I guess I'm gonna have to come at you instead. Why aren't I using charge? Space select unlock. What? You must charge at least two squares. Oh, okay. Let's try this again. Oh, there we go. Okay, that, huh. That's kind of cool, actually, the way it just kind of shot itself out there. But let's, uh, let's go ahead and do it. Bam! Go charge. Speed splitting vine. Uh, seed spitting vine. I got a lot of HP worries, actually, actually. So let's go ahead and regenerate a bit. Just a little bit. Why does that say attack? Uh, I don't know. Let's just not worry about it then. So what is the unlock is F1, lock, lock, unlock. Huh, cool. Whatever. And I'll deal with it as I get to it, so. Dragonflies, I don't want to worry about them. Aha, perhaps this is a way through into the cave. And hello, giant ease. Oh, wow. Um... Equimax. I think I'm going to stay away from you. And I am very glad that I didn't actually have to worry. Ow. Critical smackdown there. What are you? You're a salt hopper with, with rending mandibles. Ew. Well, as long as you don't deal too... Whoa. You deal damage, don't you? Yeah. Um, let's see, I have a sprinting ability, right? I begin sprinting. Hooray for sprinting. Did I stop sprinting then? You must... Oh. I think I stopped sprinting now. So whatever. Looks like I got away from it, whatever it was. Because that was nasty and I couldn't handle that, so... <laughs> okay. Fee you. Where's that stupid tree shooting tree? Um... Oh, there you are. Took, took me long enough to find you. Huh? There we go. And just go smack. Oh, that's cool looking. <laughs> I still missed. But at least it worked out. So so that's not the right way to go. Um, I still need to go north. To Red Rock. Well, let's try the minus sign. Um, or this. Did that work? Freezing zone. <laughs> oh, this is so Dwarf Fortress right here. Now where am I? Let's see, where could I be here? I guess I'm here, and that's probably Red Rock, so I just go up there and say, yes indeed, let's go there. You have finished the step travel to Red Rock, and I got 50 whole XP's for it. So here I am in Red Rock, and I'm dealing with baboons, evil baboons. Okay, well, as long as they want to come after me, that works, so. Oh, geez, I, yeah, I don't want to fight them in combinatorial physics. Um, 
Okay, good. I can just at least get a charge on you. And just go smack down, Zs. Um, how much did I hurt you? I didn't hurt you. Well, I hurt you a little bit, I guess. I'm kind of more worried about the whole he's... Where's the... Where's the... Am I not hitting him at all, then? Is that the problem? That might be a problem. Some of them, well, some of them are getting hurt, some others aren't getting hurt. They seem to be running around. Yeah, maybe they're just... Oh, okay, one of them actually died. Cool. And that's a hulking baboon, which is still kind of easy to kill, I guess. So... Building that zone. I'm a bit worried at the moment, because I am taking damage here. Good boy! Oh, whoa. Um, let's start spraying, actually. In an attempt not to die. So, I guess we're just running away. Running, running, running away. Okay. Hulking baboon. Can I beat you before the others show up? Ooh, I got, a, I got hit with a critical hit. That sucks. Um... But at least you're also hurt, so maybe we can... Ah, oh, jeez. Not a good time, guys. Maybe this will work? Maybe just barely? Yeah, it looks like they don't know where I am. Except now they do, so... Whatever. I think I can fight one-on-one -on -one like this as long as they don't start throwing stones at me. So we're just gonna regenerate a bit. Just for fun. Oh, it looks like it's daytime, so I'm actually seeing things again. Amazing how that works. Lots of small... Maybe I should just pick up a bunch of small stones? Sounds like fun. Critical Smackdown! I think I got Critical Smackdown, too. Bloody... I don't want bloody small stones. I'll just take the normal small stones. Uh, yeah. So, there we go. Ta-da! No bloody baboon corpses for me. No good, sir. I am... Small boulder. Wow. I wonder if that hulker totally had that. Baboon corpse. Just pick that up. And uh, butcher it, I guess. Did I? Yeah, I toggled it off. So that's not something that you. Whoa! A lot of you suddenly. I guess just try to fight one at a time to the best of my ability. Uh, well, I'm not taking too much damage, so this is working out okay. Get whatever. Oh, I got some critical smackdown. So we're running a bit at this point. Trying to fight things in a convenient location for me, and I guess I'm doing okay. How much is my carrying capacity? Okay, total weight 250. Man, uh, miscellaneous. 140. Small stones are very, very. How do I. You quick keys. Control D to drop. And get rid of all those. Get rid of all these, too. It's amazing how stones weigh 10 pounds each. Hey. <laughs> Another baboon corpse. You delicious baboon corpses. What are you? Are you up there? You're a bloody goat. <laughs> what the heck? Bloody goats do not belong in this game. So instead, I shall... Uh, hold on. I can figure this one out. There we go. Bloody Goat Smackdown! I guess I... Oh, he's blocking me too. We're just having a block battle, I guess. So... Block battle to the max! Alright, cool. So I got a Goat Corpse, and I failed to butcher anything useful from it. So, perhaps that's what I actually need to do. Um, baboon Corpses. So drop those. And supposedly I would butcher anything if anything proved useful, so. Yes, let's just kill some baboons, finish up here. Where was that hulking baboon? Did he get destroyed by the goat? Is that what happened? I think that's what happened. Ooh, cool! I gained a level. So I got an attribute point for that, too. That's always a good idea to, to make sure you know what you're getting out of your superpowers. Like, um, from this, right here. Yes. Excellent. So, if I wanted to, I could... I think I can level up these two at this point. Because the other ones cost two. So. As for the rest, I mean, mutation points, I guess I can... 
level them up a bit if I wanted to. It costs one MP to increase the level by one. Oh, cool. So these actually improve even better. Wow. I might want to do that. And th these are already stuck where they are. But this one seems like it could be really useful, as is this one. So, just do that. Oh, f oh, okay. I'm doing this wrong. Yes. And then, how much would it cost again? Oh, not, may not, just, just can't do it yet. So, I'll just get those to level up. Sweetness. I'm learning this game. It's, it's, wow. Learning the power is feast your eyes on that. So, yeah. Okay, cool. So, now we can go on to Red Rock, but it's already been half hour point. So, we're going to leave it at that. This has been Game Hunter playing Caves of QUD. Could. And uh, join me next time when we explore the caves of Red Rock and see if we can destroy those stupid water vine annoying plant like behaviors in a good old fashioned dude that I have respect for. So, until then, keep playing those roguelikes, guys, and take care.